A long time ago in Upper Germany, a wealthy noble by the name of Baron von Landshort had only one daughter. She was skilled in many arts that were taught to her by her older, unmarried aunt. They raised the daughter to be quite reserved because they were very protective of her. The daughter grew up avoiding and finding no interest in men. The Baron's household was always full of poor relatives that loved to visit. The Baron had arranged his daughter to marry Count von Altenburg, the son of an old nobleman of Bavaria, whom the daughter had never met before. The Count was ordered to return home from the army to attend his wedding ceremony. While the Count makes his way to see his bridegroom, the, ba the Baron's castle is in a hurry to prepare for the big event. Uh, has the cow been prepared? The rest of their decorations. The food. Uh, where can he be? Where can he be? Into the woods, la la la, I'm getting married. Meanwhile, Herman von Starkenfoss was just returning home from the army by foot. Oh, Herman, how are you? Good, how are you? Where are you going? Well, I'm going to my father's house. Isn't that by Baron von Landshort? Indeed it is. I'm getting married there, why don't you join me? Let's go. Let's go. While walking through the woods, the two engaged in conversation about their lives. Meanwhile, a robber was sneaking up behind the men, waiting for the moment to attack. Run me your money! The cow had gotten fatally wounded by one of the robbers and was nearing his death every second that had passed. As he bled on the ground, he called out to his friend Herman. Herman, come here, my brother. What is it? What is it? Please give the message of my death to my fiancé and family. You have my word. waiting for me, or should I say the cow? Hmm. Why is he so averagely dressed for such an event? Maybe he just forgot. Hello, how was your journey? Uh, it was eventful to say the least. Why? Hi, um, welcome to the family! Oh, so handsome! Yes. Let me take you. Now, at this point in the story, nobody really knows what happened to Count von Altenburg. Also, nobody knows that Herman is not the real groom. The reason Herman does not share the news is because the family is constantly swarming him, and he hasn't got a chance to say the words yet. But that mindset will change as soon as he sees the bridegroom. Oh! The Count sees the bridegroom and forgets all intentions of telling the Baron and family what happened in the forest. Come. Let's go. The banquet room is this way. You're wrong. It's good, right? The family sits talking for hours upon hours over food. The Baron tells countless ghost stories. The two new lovebirds are chatting away. Inspired by the Baron's stories, Herman gets up to excuse himself. Wait! I have an appointment with the grave. The worms are my bride. I have no bride. The robbers have slain me. Wait, what? The castle is in distress. They don't know what to do. They can't think of leaving the Baron in his current state, mentally confused and exhausted. The castle barely sleeps that night. When they wake, they are overcome with worry. The bride is missing. Where could she be? I haven't a clue. Where's my beloved daughter? Has she gone with the ghost? The Baron saddles up to go and search when the two arrive at the castle. Where have you guys been? Well, I've been wanting to tell you, but I, I forgot, it just hasn't come up. And I, I was walking with Count, and a robber came behind him and just killed him. I know, he told me to tell you, I'm sorry. But this time I've been with your daughter, I fell in love with her. And I wanted to ask for a properly ask for a hand in marriage. Well, as long as you're not a goblin or ghost. Yes. Congrats, guys. Congrats. Yes. Well, <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the two get wet promptly after. Celebrations take place me. and all the conflicts are resolved. 
The couple live happily ever after. Oh, Cal, how are you? We did, I can't. We were too close. Maybe he just forgot to. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is like. A murderer came behind him and 